First, we are tracking breaking news surrounding a high-ranking Rhode Island state trooper. Now, we've just learned Lieutenant Wilfred Hill has resigned from state police because of an inappropriate relationship with the potential candidate for the force. We have been investigating this since last night when we first reported Hill's suspension. And right now, Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson is live outside state police headquarters with the breaking details. Andrew. Yeah, some really shocking developments here at State Police Headquarters over the last couple of hours. We have just confirmed with uh, Colonel Stephen O'Donnell that within the last couple of hours, actually last night, the demotion and resignation of Lieutenant Will Hill. Now we're learning a lot more about what happened leading up to that, to that surprising decision. The case is closed on the third highest ranking officer in the Rhode Island State Police. Last night, Lieutenant Colonel Hill accepted a demotion to the rank of lieutenant and resigned from the division of state police. Lieutenant Will Hill's demotion and resignation came just two days after Hill was suspended with pay by state police pending an internal investigation. Colonel Stephen O'Donnell says that investigation was centered around allegations of domestic violence brought to police in September by a 23 year old woman who was allegedly having an affair with Hill for over two years. Hill is married with four children. While there wasn't enough evidence to move forward with prosecution, it was clear to investigators that Hill had violated violated RISP policies. One of our members has made a grave error in judgment and he's being held accountable for that. The decision avoids a lengthy administrative process. When approached about the allegations, Colonel O'Donnell says Hill admitted to everything and accepted the demotion and resignation. Hill's tenure with RISP ends after a more than two decade career that saw him rise up the ranks quickly. O'Donnell says he was extremely disappointed with how the investigation ended. It was awful. It's the most difficult thing I've done in 30 years in law enforcement. I don't want to make sure, make sure we clear. We did not condone the behavior that happened. It's inappropriate at best. But I also have to let you know that this was a wonderful employee. Now, because of Hill's high ranking within Rhode Island State Police, Massachusetts State Police actually assisted with this investigation as well. And we are told that that investigation is basically wrapped up because no criminal charges are pending. Coming up at 6, we're going to tell you more about Hill's past, including some, uh, some restraining orders and some alleged, uh, some alleged uh, domestic violence in Hill's past. We're going to tell you more about that coming up at 6. For now, live with the Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.